What is up guys? It is Farmin' Fred and we are back. Hey guys, sorry about the video being a little late tonight, but I uh, just got off work, so trying to get it done as fast as possible. But guys, in this video we're gonna have some chaos. So as you can see, we have the Dodge hooked up right now to the enclosed trailer. I'm thinking, Fred, what are you doing with the enclosed trailer? Well guys, we have to load up our toolbox, because it has all my tools in it. And um, we gotta get it over to my mom and dad's, where the Volvo currently is sitting in the shop. Um, I mean, it's so old I can't even really hook up to it with a computer, but from the sounds of it, guys, I used to be a diesel tech, from the sounds of um, the engine right now, it sounds like we got an um, injector misfiring, and I got to get that valve cover off just to see what's going on. Maybe we got a harness or something undone on it. I'm not sure, but um, we've got a huge issue going on with the Volvo right now. And then, um, not to mention, we're in the middle of harvest right now. We're a one-man operation because my dad's gone. Um, so, guys, right now we're going to run this over. We're going to drop my toolbox off. We're going to leave my pickup over at my parents' house. We're going to grab my dad's 8110, run that down to the field, hook it up to the other set of wagons. And we're going to have to run two sets of wagons because we're down our truck now. Um, I mean, we still have the Peterbilt, but, guys, I don't want to put it on there if I don't have to. So if it's not working good enough with two wagons and the grain cart, I mean, we're going to fill them all as much as we can. It's just the hassle, guys, of unhooking the 81 um, or the 8530 and moving them from tractor to tractor. It's like, if we go get the 8110, we'll be set perfect, guys. I'm in such a hurry. I might rip the duels off of it. I might not. I'm not sure yet what we're going to end up doing. Might have to rip the duels off it, but we might just have to run it as is with the duels on. So let's get it. All right, guys. So we got our snap-on toolbox loaded up in the trailer and... I mean, we, we just we just got to get out of here and we got to go like I said before guys I'm not sure yet we might be we might be um, taking the duels off the 8110 I just I don't I don't know yet what we're gonna do um, we're just in such a hurry right now it's not even funny I'm trying to rush down there. The nice thing is it's not that far of a drive, and I mean, I, I'm okay, guys. Don't look at my speed right now, but I'm going like almost 100 miles an hour. That's the thing, though. Our pickup can zoom. Um, meanwhile, the 8110 goes like I don't know, 24, 22 miles an hour, maybe 26, maybe I don't, I don't know, guys. It's been a while since I've ran it, so we're gonna whip into our parents' place here. Um, sometime I'm gonna have to get over here and get the Volvo ripped apart. Um, to, so I thought I'd just. As long as my um, toolbox is in the enclosed trailer, it'll be fine. We'll just back it up, leave our truck sit right here. It's gonna kind of stink not having my pickup, but if I need it, I can always have Mrs. Farmer Fred come give me a ride up to it. But um, guys, I we're in such a hurry. We just gotta go. We're gonna leave the gonna leave the duels on. Um, it's not my favorite thing to do, but hey, we gotta we got stuff to get done right now. We gotta we gotta get down the road. And um, we, I mean, we just gotta get, get rolling. I've got the the green set of wagons full right now. I'd like to just go. Um, we're finishing up that field around the cattle farm. Thank goodness we're almost done with it. But uh, I was gonna finish yesterday, or yeah, after yesterday's video, guys. Like I mentioned before, but then we had that whole issue with um, with the Volvo, and I was like, oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. We just bought a brand new tractor, and now we're having problems with our truck, and it's like. I don't know, I'm debating right now, because either the Volvo is going to, if it's something severe, like if that thing needs a new motor, I don't, I don't know, I mean, it's, it's got the, um, the Volvo motor in it, so it's like, I don't know if I, uh, get one, I don't know how easy it is to get one, and second off, it's like, is it worth it, is that truck, I mean, it's old, so guys, we might have to have a new semi come into play, I don't know, or might just run the Peterbilt as an all, all around farm truck, and Say so screw it on keeping it clean and nice. I, mean, I really don't want to do that, but the Peterbilt's getting older too. I don't know, guys. We're in a huge mess right now. I'm just trying to trying to get harvest done, and we we're still sitting at that 160 at least left. And I'm in I'm in such a hurry right now. It's just I can't even can't even get anything done. We still have bales to pick up. We got manure to haul. I mean, we have got a mess going on on top of cattle chores every day and my parents' chores now because my dad's gone. And um, I mean, we're just keeping pretty busy on the farm right now. It's We need to almost get a hired hand around just to help us with chores or come run grain cart or combine or something for us. Um, 
We just have a little chunk left here on the side of the field, guys, and then we have a little chunk left on the other side of the field. So we'll get the, the 8110 hooked up to to whatever we can. I do really like this tractor, guys. It's it's pretty sweet, but um, oh man, I'm just I'm stressing out a little bit, guys. I'm just like trying to get as much done as I can, and we're just at a. I mean, running wagons ain't gonna be no fun, but. The nice thing is we can fill both sets of wagons and the green cart up before we have to really... The only thing that kind of stinks about it is... Okay, so... I can maybe run the green cart down to that side of the field. I don't know if there's enough there to get us full or run it down to that side of the field. Just so it's somewhere close for me with the tractor or with the combine. I'm not sure. Oh, man. Trying to get that lined up perfect. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what a mess it is, guys. Oh, man. Okay. So that's all set up right. I mean, we can just have it be whatever. Let's um start combining, I guess. I, I don't even know what to say right now. I don't... That's not really efficient, but we can, we can just keep rolling. Just try to get down here. We'll try to get some end rows out. Um, there should, I mean, there might be a grain tank down here. It depends on how good the stuff yields, but I'm going to try to take one more set of end rows out around it just because then we can get some more turnaround space. Um, when I split the field up, I kind of just left this section as is and didn't come across it again with another set of headlines. We'll pick up this row here. And, oh, man. Then, not to mention the combine's getting some high hours on it, guys. I'm just. That tractor was. It wasn't needed, needed, but at the same time, it was like, I was thinking if I'm going to, I got, I mean, you got to keep up on equipment or else you're just going to get stuck behind. You're just going to have a bunch of old stuff around. And I mean, unfortunately, that's what's happening to dad right now. He's got, I mean, all this stuff's really nice. I'm not saying it's not, I'm not saying you can't get by, but if you want to keep moving ahead, I mean, for your business per se, because I mean, a farm is a business. You want to definitely make sure you're keeping stuff around and updated um, just because of the fact of. You know, you want your stuff to be worth something. Which right now, I mean, my dad's stuff is worth a crazy amount. Like that, I do want to tell we were just saying that's it's crazy. But um, I also don't want to get too far behind and have all my equipment be old and outdated and high-houred. That's that's the main thing. It's not even necessarily how old it is. It's just how how like um, how um, high-houred it is. We don't want too many hours on here. This thing's got um, almost 10 on it, which for this, this is a lot actually. I mean, it's getting there, but maybe we'll just go with this this way. Get longer rounds in. When we get full, we'll run over and we'll get the grain cart filled up. And um, we're back at it again, guys, with the whole um, ordeal of combining corn, so. I just gotta get it done, but, um, and we will, we will definitely hopefully get it done, <laughs> um, I don't know how long the video is gonna be today, guys, just trying to get it up and out, and I still gotta edit it and everything, but, um, we're definitely gonna try to get corn done, I can tell you that much, oh, man, yeah, I think we're just gonna continue on with the rounds here, and, I think that's going to be the easiest option. I'll just have to run back. We might run the loads quick. I don't I don't know what to do. Once we get that red red set of wagons full, maybe we'll just run the loads up there quick cuz then we can start fresh or get this side done, get it all put away in the wagons in the grain cart and then have a fresh set for that other side. And, um, we'll have to get moved over to, I don't know what field we're going to yet, either the cornfield over by my parents' place, or we got one to the east here, so I'm not sure where we're going yet, but, man, it's it's a busy time, guys, and now the semi, uh, that's just on my mind, I just hope that it's nothing too severe, and who knows, maybe one of the, maybe, um, one of the plugs to the injectors is bad or something, or it's just got some gunk in it, I don't know, it could be anything, it could be something little, but it, I mean, it could also be it needs an injector, which a single injector, I mean, wouldn't be the worst thing, but 
you know, there could be bigger issues too. Maybe it needs a cylinder head and I'm just not hearing it right or something. And I, I mean, I don't know about getting a cylinder head for that thing or I really hope it's not like a, a cylinder scored or, or a piston scored. I mean, I just, I really hope it's nothing too severe. I'm a little worried about it, but um, this should be enough to get our set of wagons filled, but I think we're just gonna go to get the comment full on it as well. As much done as here as we can. We probably have a few more rounds left, maybe three more rounds left. And by round, guys, I mean a down and back. Some people think that rounds are like like this right here. When I get to the other side, that's a round. But a round is when you go and you come back, like a round. But um, so we're gonna try to get one more round done, and then um, yeah, we'll see where we see where we end up. Um, yeah, I'll go on this, guys, until we get it done. All right, guys, we're just finishing up this little section here, so then we'll uh, then we'll head on over and we'll dump the rest in our grain cart. Um, didn't really take too long, honestly, to do, but then we'll uh, we'll probably just run both sets of wagons and get them get them emptied so we can start that other side fresh. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, I mean, we might not start 100% fresh because I think we're gonna have more in the grain cart than what's gonna fit in that wagon but we'll be pretty close to to about right so that would work out pretty nice actually I think um, yeah there we go guys so only one more section left on this field we're making progress there's just it's just this one man operation thing is just so slow because of the fact that um, we gotta run back and forth and even if we have the grain cart over here I mean yeah we don't have to dump as I mean we don't have to go as far as much I guess but we still have to get in that and go dump so it's really no different but a little different I mean we can get a lot more get a couple times out of the combine instead of having to run it clear down so we'll probably run the 8110 back first I'd say just because that one's running right now we can start the 8530 and get that one warming up a little bit but we'll get this dumped quick and then we'll hop in the fence and get that dumped I'm kind of a little upset that um I thought my mom and dad weren't um, going to leave too early, but um, it's all right. It's just like it'd be nice to have somebody come run combine for me so I can uh, get some fat time, you know? We just spent all this money on this tractor. Let's get the PTO going. All right. Yeah, see this? That's what I'm saying, guys. This, this ain't all going to fit in there. There's no way. Yeah, we still got quite a bit left in there, but we'll let the... Let the grain cart and tractor run as well. We're just kind of getting everything to go and run up, just because I want I want to make sure that um, everything's ready to go. Yeah, the 8530 guy is getting some hours on it. Uh, we'll let that warm up for a while. This tractor's been running for a while, so go ahead and take this one down the road. So it's pretty much the same setup my dad runs, guys, because this is his tractor and his wagon. So it's pretty much is. Um, so let's, uh, oh man, there we go. I'm curious to see how these wagons work on dumping in the pit, um, like the drive over hopper we got. So figure it out. I mean, turn it in there. The nice thing about the truck is you can back them up. I'm not that good at backing wagons up, guys, to the point where I can back two fully loaded ones up on there perfectly and dump them. So we might have to get a little creative, but, um, yeah, we'll get both of these dumped and then, uh, We'll come back and try to get that other section done and get this field over with. I'm not sure, guys, again, how long the video is going to be today. We might dump this and call it a day. I don't know. We might come back and get some more done. But um, I am trying to get as much done as I can. Um, and then, yeah, we'll have a video up tomorrow. I'm sorry, guys, again. It's, it's already 6.30 and I'm still making it, so that means it probably won't be up till 7, 7.30. So apologize for that, guys. Just my schedule is really busy. I have uh, my... Uh, um, Classes start at 6.55 at school, and then once I get done with school, I go to work, and then work till 5, 5.30, and then try to get a video up, so, um, you know, I'm still trying to trying to get it done, guys. Um, I do enjoy making them a lot, and I, I'm happy that uh, the channel's growing, and I don't know if you guys have been looking, but man, Farm and Fred's just like, our subscribers are going up like crazy. I just can't believe it on how much I've you know just been posting within the last like few weeks here and we've gained a lot of subs so I'm very grateful for that and always happy to see it 
I hope you guys are too. I'm enjoying the content. Um, well, I'm enjoying making the content. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Um, oh man, come on, 8110. Don't struggle on me now. I saw a video, guys, of uh, the squad. He farms too, and um, Squad Farms, you probably know of him. He's from Iowa as well. Um, I used to watch him all the time before I even played Farm Sim, but um, he had a setup just like this in Farm Sim 17 that he was running these J&M wagons, and he was running them on a, a 7810 John Deere, and it's like, how does that even pull them things? And then here's our 8110 struggling like crazy. I'm hoping we can make a turn around in here. I'd like to run these back and get the 8530 up here yet, too, and get them them dumped. I'm not sure the video may, might be kind of short, might be kind of long. Um, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to fit. Oh, flip. I just thought about that. Um, I guess we could take the duels off here. I have my impact. So, guys, I looks like I'm getting the duels ripped off the... the 8110. I was not expecting to have to do this, but I should have thought about this with the hopper. I thought it was wider than it was, so pull this thing in the shop, over to the toolbox, and we'll get these things ripped off quick. Alright, guys, so a real bummer. I do not have the right size socket to get these duels off, which I thought it'd be the same as my 8530, but apparently it's not. So, as of right now, well, okay, I probably. It is the same as my 8530, but in this box I don't have the right size socket because this is more of my standard box, and my other one's my metric box. Well, of course I took the metric one down because I'm, Volvos have mostly well, all metric on them. So then, <laughs> and so do John Deere. So that's why I don't have the right size. Um, and I know we're just talking about it, but we have 7810 on the wagons, guys. I'm not saying this is going to be a permanent setup, but just to dump them, and then we'll probably just have to run the 8530 all around on them. But um, <laughs> I was just I was just looking around at my machine shop and I was like what tractor would work right now and then I was like oh my gosh how ironic I was just talking about this uh, let's get this thing dumped looks like it's going to work out alright with that and the nice thing is I think the 81 or the 7810 is going to fit in between the bins there it's just a matter of will the wagon fit I should have spaced them out a little bit and made like a wraparound driveway because this is, but I didn't make this for wagons, I guess, even though I've been using the wagons, so, um, yeah, we'll let that dump, oh, man, yeah, I was just talking about that, too, I mean, the 7810 could even handle those big wagons, but maybe it can, I mean, maybe we'll just run it on there, I don't know, we'll see, I'm half tempted, too, because it's like, I still want to run two tractors, but it's going to be such a pain in the butt to run and just unhook every time. There's no difference than just doing that in the field with the one tractor. I don't know. Just about there. I hope I hope we can fit. That's that's my main thing. I really do. So there we go. Get that shut. All right. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I think the tractor will fit. It's just the wagons, and I, I just don't know if I can, um, yeah, the tractor I think is going to fit, but I don't think the wagons are. Backing up skills, guys, are going to have to be temp or tested here. I, I just can't believe that. I was like, I promise that was not planned at all. I was just talking about it, and it was like, oh my gosh, the only tractor we have is our 70 debt, and here we go. It looks like we're doing it. Um, but yeah, guys, I'll work on getting corn done. Oh my goodness. That is a full grain bin there, folks. So we are going to have to move bins here, guys. We've got a bunch of stuff to do now. we got to move the augers around and the pit around. And what a mess it's going to be. Um, just getting everything figured out. But this time I'm going to position everything so I can actually dump with the wagons. That will be the nice thing about switching bins. Um... But yeah, guys, sorry again about it being so late with the video. Just been busy today and finally got a chance to make it. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Got a little bit done. Hoping to get more done in the next one. So come back for it, guys. And like always, thanks for all the 
all the support on the channel and everything you guys do for me and subscribing, liking my videos, you know, just everything you guys do, comments even, even just watching a view is a view and I really enjoy that, that you guys are watching them and liking them and enjoying them and I can, or I hope uh, you guys continue to and yeah, I'm just so, so thankful for it all. So I really appreciate it and um, like always guys, I hope you enjoy this video and have a great rest of your day.